Hello, and thank you for joining me on 8, I am Maggie. So what I am doing here is the Brian Scott Reality Revolution Momentum Challenge. And so each time I am, you know, doing, challenging you to some momentum. Now today's challenge was inspired by a combination. I just came off of Jenny Spiritualist, um, uh, podcast the, at the fireside chat so this is inspired by that chat but also by Nat King Cole Dr. B Sirius and David R. Hawkins and you so let's see if you can figure out what the challenge is here we go because I'm challenging you <sighs> what a day this has been what a rare mood I'm in why it's almost like being in love there's a smile on my face for the whole human race why it's almost like being in love and the song goes on so that's it's almost like being in love by nat king cole a lot of times these musics can put you in a really good vibration and so my challenge for you is what would it take to get you vibrating at the energy frequency energy frequency and vibration of true love now think about it everybody has some way to tap 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 in um, you may think of the birth of your children uh, just an ecstatic day when you're welcoming beautiful life and loves of your life into your life. It could be the day you got married or even met your significant other. It could be the day that you um, got your puppy or horse, something that's unconditional. It could be your time outside in nature that just helps you to completely ground, let all the crap go and just hold this frequency and energy frequency and vibration of love. So I wanna challenge you. What can you do today that will help you hold the energy frequency and vibration of true love? What is it that you can do today that you can just marinate in this energy and just when you walk down the street, everybody's smiling at you. Now, in uh, recently, I took Manifest Destiny with Billy Carson and Dr. B. Sirius, and I'm also a student of David R. Hawkins. And so this is how it all ties in. And um, Dr. B. Sirius brought up David Hawkins' work in the Map of Consciousness Explained. And he talked about how when one person is vibrating at the level of true love, 500. It counterbalances 750,000 individuals who are vibrating below. So I am wanting to tell you today in the Momentum Challenge is that I want you to choose love, figure out what is gonna take you to get into the state of holding true love. So like I said, a couple examples. Maybe the way that you access this is through meditation. Then hold that. Maybe it is the way you enter it is through a positive experience, past, present, or imaginal future. Maybe the way that you manifest this feeling of true love is in deep prayer and communion with our Creator. Maybe the way that you manifest this is through one of Brian Scott's Reality Revolution meditations. Uh, Bliss Body, Large Sums of Money, um, Neville Goddard, Joseph Murphy. What, you know, what is it that gets you in that energy and vibration of true love? Because think about it. If many of us start to pop up and hold this field at even varying stages, each one of us could offset 750,000 people. And since we are game changers, this is what we're here to do. So I want you to take the challenge of grounding in, just letting whatever 
blocks you from experiencing true love, just let's actually, let's ground right now. Okay. We're, we're going into the silence for a moment. Let's go into the silence. We're at total peace with the world and we're total peace with ourselves. Let's let your energy ground into the earth and anchor in. Let that run all the way up and down. Let your heart open and expand while that just runs through all your energy centers. open our crowns and just receive the light and love of our Creator. Now go through the window. Find that little space that allows you to enter into this energy, frequency, and vibration of true love. And then let's hold it together. There's quite a bit of bliss and joy in here. Now let that expand. See it pouring out into the earth and the heavens and the multiverses, the universe. You are all beautiful channels of true love, holding positions on the globe, just like a Verizon telephone tower. Just hold this vibration of true love and allow it to just vibrate out into the earth, to the ethers, and to the universe. Let your heart expand. Let your true love vibration, it's just going out into the earth and popping people up from low vibrational states. And we're connecting this grid of this true love of energy, frequency, and vibration. We're all connecting with those towers of true love Hmm. It's across the globe. It's almost done. Breathe. Ground. Expand. There's people being touched by your love in this moment. Or the one creator. that have never experienced this feeling before. And there's other people who have experienced this, but are being renewed and rejuvenated in the mind of the creator and the heart of the creator, and the soul of the creator. <sighs> Just bask in this. So as you go out, I just, we're all connected. As you go out, emitting this frequency of true love into the earth, you're healing many, and you're taking this momentum challenge of choosing true love and the energy and frequency and vibration of true love to be emanating at. And we are, we are one. 
So as we're doing this, we're lifting up our brothers and sisters and everyone, plants, animals, everything. And we're moving from the me, me, me to the we, we, we. We, we, we. We are one. Ooh, caliente. Oh, okay. There we are. That true love, energy, frequency, vibration. We just released it and it's still, we're still holding that container and it's just emanating out of us. All right, well, there's your day six momentum challenge. Oh my gosh, it just feels so good. Thank you for joining me. And oh my gosh, I don't know. I, thank you for joining me. When you do get a chance, please hit that like button and subscribe and leave your positive comments. And remember, you are loved and loved. All right, and thank you for choosing love. Thank you for holding true love. That just pure, innocent, beautiful energy of you. And we're remembering who we are. All right, and the Bible tells us, perfect love casts out all fear. So we are just casting out fear left and right with our true love vibration. All right. Well, thank you for joining me. And I, hope, I know you're having a good day. And you know what's next. You know what's next. I got a smile on my face for the whole human race. Well, it's almost like being in energy frequency and vibration of true love. <laughs> Peace in. Peace.